minerals can form in really one of two ways, either from the cooling of hot molten rock, magma deep below the earth, or cooling as it rises towards the surface, or from hot water and hydrothermal systems where hot water dissolves minerals and they cool and precipitate within that solution. So minerals can form many different ways. One way that we can describe how minerals form assemblages of minerals and then ultimately igneous rocks is by using a cotton candy machine. So what we're going to do is we've got a solid, a cotton candy sugar that we've put in this machine. The heat will basically liquefy that sugar into a form that's similar to, let's say, an igneous magmatic melt. And then it will spit that sugar out into this swirling column of air which will then cause it to cool and crystallize, much the way when minerals are lifted up into cooler parts of the Earth's crust, they cool and they begin to crystallize. So in this case, the air within our area here is like the rest of the rock, and then our hot sugar coming out is like the hot magma coming up. So if we crank this puppy up, and then I climb up here, all of the hot sugar is going to start spitting out and coming in and, and it's going to make layer after layer of sugar that then I can catch on my cotton candy sugar cone. And that's how rocks form in many cases. As a matter of fact, sometimes you see rocks called geodes and geodes are layers of crystals and they form whenever layers of minerals are plastered on the sides of a void in rock. So the, the cotton candy spits out in, in thin filaments and if we roll this around they basically cake up around the paper roll much like thin layers of atoms align themselves with a mineral. So this basically is a mineral with different layers of atoms that have then organized themselves in some chemical structure. Ah, there's more. The important thing is to remember that the pink cotton candy is the best. Uh, hmm. okay.